What's up guys, Learning with Rich here. In this video, we are going to explore our object tree properties and then we are going to learn how to search or find an objects and we're going to create a search sets. Okay, all right, so let's do this. So I'm going to click this icon here, the object tree. I think if you are using uh, Navisworks, you are going to be familiar with this um, tree here. Okay, so this navigation tree or your object tree, here you will be able to see what is the name of the project that you have exported to Revisto. And then if you're going to expand that, you'll be able to see here the levels that is associated with that uh, model. Okay, so you also have an option here. If you click that, you'll be able to select here, switch back, which is we are not going to do, okay? So let us just explore, uh, explore your object tree. As you can see, there's uh, search uh, settings here. It says here elements only. So we can change that later on. So let's say, for example, if I click level one here, it will highlight the level one here in my uh, model, okay? So it highlights also the wall there, but actually it's part of uh, level one. So here's your uh, wall, level one, and then you have your air terminal. Now, what you can do, if you want to select only the air terminal, you can just right click at the blank space and then you can select here, isolate. And then you will be able to see all the air terminals, any type, as long as it is an air terminal category, it will gonna be shown here in your uh, model, okay? So you can right click again and then you can select uh, show all. Again, you can also select switch back there. And then what will happen is it will open that particular uh, element in Revit. Okay, but we're not gonna do that. So I'm gonna select here show all and there you go. So let's say for example, you want to select the dock. So you can dig in, you can ex expand that and then you can expand more you can expand more. So you'll be able to see you have a total of 253 duct on your level one, okay? And then you also have here lighting fixtures, okay? So basically it's like Navisworks. So if you are not familiar with Navisworks, so you have this kind of tree in Navisworks wherein you can uh, select, isolate, and an isolate an element for you to be able to uh, further review your model. So let's say for example for the walls, so you can click the walls, you can right click and then um, you can select here isolate and you can also modify the transparency. So let's say for example, I want to see what's inside this building but I do not want to turn off my floor, my ceiling or the walls. So what I'm gonna do here is on my object tree, I'm going to select um, walls and then right click and then after that you can change here the transparency click that one and then you have an option here to change the transparency to 25 50 up to 75 percent so if you click that you will now be able to see that the transparency now becomes 75 percent so you'll be able to see your elements inside but you still have your uh, wall there okay if you want to return it back to normal just right click again your walls and then after that click the transparency just reset the transparency okay oops what happened where's my walls right click uh, transparency and then just reset there you go right now um there is an easier way for you to be able to do that for the whole model not only on level one which is i'm going to show you later on okay so basically this is your object tree wherein you can select your objects okay now another tool that is useful here is the properties so if you click the properties here you click that Okay, as you can see, it's blank because you haven't selected any object. But let's say if I'm going to select this equipment here, if I click that, the property will show you here. Okay, so these are the properties, which is very useful if you want to uh, select all the 
equipment having the same properties as this one okay because you can select from here okay so that's your property so let's say for example we are going to create a search set search sets is very useful when doing your uh, clash detection okay your clash detection so you need to create a search sets so how to create a search sets so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a category for my search sets so let's say i want to search sets categories of architecture uh, mechanical and let's say hydraulics or plumbing so for me to be able to do that i'm going to select this icon here it says here search sets so let's click that and then here's your search set so we are going to create folder okay so let's click create folder so i'm gonna call this uh arch for architectural okay and then i'm going to create another one so this will gonna be mac okay and then let's say uh plumbing all right Okay, so I now have here three folders. So what I'm going to do first is I want to search all the walls, floors, and ceiling in my model. Now for me to be able to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my object tree and also my properties here. So I'm going to select here on my level one, the walls. So I'm going to click that one. As you can see, it highlights all the walls. And then we have the properties here. Now, instead of selecting all the walls here on my object tree, I'm going to use the property. So as you can see, the property here, one of the property here is item name walls. But if you're going to expand the other options here, you can see this. And there is a box here wherein you can tick the property that you would like to search. Let's say, for example, I'm going to tick here item name walls. So you click that. And then you will now be able to select options here. So you have add to favorites. The other one here is find object, which is what we are going to use. Okay, so after you select the property that you would like, just click here, find objects. You click that. And then just click here, create new search. So you click that one. And then you will now see here, find objects. So here in the find objects, automatically it's now set to item name that is equal to walls. Okay, you can also add here. So let's say, for example, I'm going to add the floor. So I'm going to select property condition. And then for the category, same, I'm going to select item. And then for the uh, settings here, the property, I want name as well equals here i'm gonna type floor okay so just to make sure i'm going to select the floor here and then floors and then just click outside it's now selected now what i'm gonna do is i'm going to select here instead of end i'm gonna select here or okay so i'm gonna find walls or floor and I also want to include the ceiling, okay? If there's a ceiling, so let's add a condition. So property condition, uh, item, whose name equals, let's check it out if there's a ceiling here. So there's a ceiling. So I'm gonna select two of the ceiling, click out, click uh, outside, all right? And then here, instead of selecting elements only, I'm gonna uncheck this one, and that's it. I'm going to select now here, all click that okay your query has a formal uh, for oh okay so i'm gonna close this one first i'm gonna select skip because this one i want this to change so instead of end i want or so i am going to include to my selection the ceilings so i'm gonna select here find all again and there you go so it's now selecting all the walls, floors, and ceilings. As you can see, it's now all highlighted here in my model. Okay, so after you select, what you can do is you can now save that. Okay, save your search set. So you can click that and then save as new set. So you click and then 
this is the default folder if you don't create any folder but if you're going to click that you will be able to see the folders that we have created so i'm gonna put that under arch and then i'm gonna put a name i'm gonna put here a underscore uh, walls floors ceilings okay and then i'll just select here okay or of course you can create separately your walls floors and ceilings but in this exercise i just created i just search it in one search set okay so just select okay and that's it so it's now saved here on my search set so if i click outside so i can just simply select from here right click and then uh, you can select find all or let's change the transparency. So let's click transparency Let's say 75 and that's it. See now our model here Right Okay Right, now the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to select, let's say, all the ducts. Flex, du uh, flex ducts, duct fittings, and my duct. So same procedure. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to escape. And then I'm going back again to my uh, object tree. So here on my object tree, I'm going to uh, select duct. So let's click the duct. And then again, as you can see, this is the property that the property that we would like. Item name duck. All right. So what we're gonna do is, instead of um, ticking this, ticking and then selecting this, you can also do that if you want. But another way is you can just reset your find objects here. So you can use here the clear all icon. To clear all the filters and then you can select add condition property condition uh, I'm gonna use uh, item that name is equal to duck all right this one so all the words that contains duck so basically I'm going to select all of this there you go and then I'll just click here outside there you go that's it and then after that select uh, find all and there you go so it's now all selected okay and let's say you want also to include the air terminal okay because that's an air terminal there so we are going to include the air terminal here so let's select first what is the property that we would like for the air terminal so I'm going to select the air terminal here on the object tree and then it's the same so we are going to use your item name okay so we are going to add condition uh, property condition item uh, name equals uh, air terminal let's click that okay and you can actually also include the other uh, properties here that contains air but that is not what we needed I only need air terminal so I'll just click outside again and don't uh, don't forget to select your or and then let's select find all and there you go so it's now included to our selection and then same procedure let's select here uh, save update save as new set and then we are going to put that on mac folder so this will gonna be my m docs okay now let's say for example i want to select by system classification or system properties okay because our mechanical it also contains pipes right so in your mechanical modeling, there's all uh, mechanical also use pipes for your hydronic hydronic system, for your hydronic supply, hydronic return. But let's say for example you want is a sanitary pipe for your plumbing. So you can also select by system. Okay. So let's do this. So what I'm gonna do is um, 
I'm going to select the pipe here. So let's select pipe. I'm just going to show you. I'm going to search here pipe. Enter. Okay, so here. So I'm going to select the pipe type. And then aside from the item here that we always use, there's also other property that you can use here, such as the mechanical. So as you can see, this is what we needed. So we need by system classification. So that just in case you want to select all the pipes for your mechanical, you can select there by system classification. You don't just simply select uh, pipe types because if you do that, it will select all the pipes. That includes the pipes for your hydraulics and pipes for your mechanical. But what if you want to select the pipes that is for a specific system like mechanical or uh, plumbing or hydraulics. So you can use the mechanical uh, system classification. Okay, so let's try this one out. So I'm going to clear this or maybe I'm just going to check it here. So I'm going to select uh, system classification and then I'm going to select find object, create new search. Okay, let me change this one. I don't like the hydraulic supply for the mechanical. What I want is for the plumbing for my hydraulics. So I'm going to uncheck that. So what I want is I want to select the sanitary. Okay, and then I'll just click outside. And then that's it. I only want to select sanitary. So if you want to select the hot, uh, hot water pipe or cold water pipe, so you can also do the same procedure. You can add and then make sure it's or condition okay so for me i'll just select sanitary pipe so i'll just select here find all all right now for us to be able to see that because it's already selected here so what we can do is we can right click uh, we can select isolate and there you go so, so these are the pipes that has a sanitary uh, sanitary system classification okay so we are now going to save this set so let's select save, save as new. Let's put this under plumbing and then let's call this, uh, let's say uh, P underscore sanitary, sanitary pipe. And then okay. And then that's it. So you now have your search set. So basically this is uh, how to create your search set so that you'll be able to use that for your clash automation all right so let's close this windows and let's uh, turn on our uh, search sets so let us right click show all there you go and then let's do it from here so let's say uh, for the dock let's right click that you can um, isolate there you go so there's your docks and then air terminals and then here's your pipes. So right click, isolate. That's the one. So you can use these search sets for your clash detection. Okay, so hopefully you learned something from this video, guys. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, you can put it on the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Okay, so for now, Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.